John Davidson here with Sprayworks Equipment Group. Let's get ready for another episode of Fix It Friday. On this week's episode of Fix It Friday, we're going to rebuild an AP3 gun by PMC. Okay, first thing you'll notice that it has a hose block on it. This is interchangeable between the AP3 and the AP2 gun with the change out of the, of the mounting bolt. You need a longer one because of the bail on the AP2 gun. Once you remove this block, um, you know, again, if, it's, uh, if you have one of these blocks on your hose already, you can simply take the screw out of this one and put it in the, the hose that you have on there or take that one off and, and service it and it's a good time to put a, a brand new uh, hose block on the hose. Right away you'll notice check valves at the, uh, at the bottom of the block here. Okay, you'll see the nylon check valve seats, same as the AP2 again, uh, and the removal tool. Inside you'll see here, you have the seat, the ball, and the spring. Like servicing any gun, you're going to wait, want to make sure you go through the proper procedures. Uh, flushing the gun prior to, to service is always recommended. You get rid of the thick uh, liquids that tend to, to hang on the parts as you take the gun apart. Just like the AP2, we're going to keep the gun in a down forward position. You've either flushed the gun, in this case it's new. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the AP3 gun wrench. You'll notice that there's some cutouts and some uh, different areas to use the wrench. Uh, handy little tool here. Crack the screen open again, keeping the gun in a down forward position. Even if you flush it, you know, you get cross contaminants inside the gun. It just make the cleaning process harder. Go to remove it. You'll see it's just like the AP2 gun as well. Inside you have the side chamber, the O ring, the sport washer, the screen, and the spring inside, and of course the seal down in the seat. Again, these parts are reusable um, from your AP2 stock if you have that. Again, keeping the gun in down four position, go ahead and repeat the process on the other side. Again, keeping the gun in a down forward position, I'm going to remove the, the tip from the mixing chamber. I'm going to just unthread standard thread on that. Here's where an O ring is on the tip. Set that off to the side. You know that if you keep the solvents off those, those will last. Now we remove the chamber, remove the two bolts here. They're going to be pretty tight because there is some blue Loctite on these. Um, shouldn't have to take this off every time you clean it. Uh, if you're just servicing the side screen, you just do that. It gives you a chance to uh, inspect the surface in between the side seal and the mixing chamber. It's still good to go. Okay, at this point, remove the screws, pull the block off, chamber can come off with it. If it's hung up in there, like, you know, guns have a tendency to do at times, um, you can just remove the chamber and the block all at once by uh, taking it out of the ball socket. Okay, at this point, we can rebuild the front of the gun. That's the liquid end. You're not necessarily going to service the air motor in this area as much. However, I do want to point out that we have an O-ring here. And from time to time, this O-ring will require replacement and gives you an opportunity to see that you're keeping good grease in there. Uh, you can pack the grease from this point back. And uh, uh, it's just something you'll want to check in between service areas. Okay, next we're going to remove the air motor from the handle. In order to do that, first we want to remove the stop here on the end. Again, you're going to need to take it into service to pop it out. Okay, first we're going to take the air motor off of the handle by removing the Zerg fin, setting that off to the side. You'll see these two bolts here. You don't necessarily have to take that Zerk off, but it's a time you can do it. 
these two vertical bolts that go down through from the top down. Uh, you'll notice they have blue Loctite on them, so you'll want to clean the threads out when we get there. Uh, when you open it up, you'll see just the three O-rings here. Um, two of them stayed down there. Uh, <clears throat> and so now the air motor and the, uh, the handle are separated. Okay, next we're going to gain access to the AP3 trigger assembly. We remove the air motor. We have these two shoulder bolts that hold the uh, trigger on. Let's remove these shoulder bolts. Okay, once you've removed the C-clip, gain access to the stem here. You know, PMC's just made this, so this is a replaceable part. Uh, so there's not a lot of rebuilding going on. Maybe some cleaning. Again, you won't access this, but every six months or so, uh, you know, not often you should have to service the trigger area. Uh, you'll want to take at that point in time to clean the bore out. And uh, pretty simple handle. And again, the trigger, it does have some O-rings on it. Um, I, again, I wouldn't plan on uh, replacing those O-rings, just uh, go ahead and replace the whole trigger housing and uh, start with a fresh one. Okay, now that we've dug deep into the disassembly of the AP3 gun, we're going to do a quick run through of the assembly. Fix It Friday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of these videos.